I'm going to show you the steps on how to create this amazing animated slide, show you the easiest way to add interactivity to it, and throughout, you'll learn a bunch of ways to make it look awesome. Let's check it out. To get started, we'll draw a square, and we'll change the colour. I've already got the outline turned off for mine, so turn it off if you need to. Then come up to the rounded rectangle, and draw a rectangle right here. You'll notice when I drew that rectangle, it was purple. To make it pink, I'll just right click here and say, set default shape. And now everything I draw will be pink. I'm going to type in A. I'll then increase the font size and I'll change it to Montserrat Black. I'll now grab these and I'll duplicate them to the left. Then I'll select this and this one. Push Ctrl G to group them. And then I'll hide it. On this one, I'll change it to B. Push here to group it. Then right click and choose Format Shape. Go to Fill. And we're going to change the fill to 20%. And then to make sure it's not see-through, go to the eyedropper. And choose Eyedropper. So I'm going to hide that one now and do the same here. This time I'll make it 40%. Click on here, go to eyedropper, select there, Control G to group, then hide it. The same goes here too. I'll zoom out here so you can see what's going on. I'll show all of those parts again. Next, we're going to grab this part here. We're just going to drag this up. Going to grab this part here. Let's drag it up and grab this one here. Then we'll push Control A. Come back in here and we'll choose a nice shadow. Change this to 80%, Blur to 10, and the Distance to 5. We're looking good. To save some time, I have some pre-made icons and slides, so I'll just paste these in now. And then once I've pasted it, I'll then click on here and choose Control G. And I'll slide that to the left. So I'll keep copying these across now and I'll be back in a moment. And we've made our slides. The next step is to right click. And we're going to change the background to a darker color. Looking good. Now these slides are pretty much ready to go, but now is the part where we want to add some interactivity to the slides. So I'm glad you've hung around to this spot. So to do that, go up here and we need to create four more slides. But before we create any more, I'll come in here, select all, push delete, and then duplicate this three more times. And the reason we're doing that is that when we add interactivity to these slides, we want these slides to exist. So we need to have them there first. So first we click on this A, then come up to insert, action, and from here, go to hyperlink, slide to, and click OK. Same thing for B. Go to insert, action, hyperlink, slide three, and I'll continue doing that for slides four and five. Now we've done that, click Control A to select everything, and then copy them. Come down to the next slide and paste them in. Now we're going to drag the A all the way over to the right. Then select all again, copy it onto the next slide, paste it in, and we'll move B across. So I'll keep copying these across now and I'll be back in a moment. 
looking good. Let's now insert a text box. The reason why I made it this width is so that when I have it centered, which I'll do now, the text will be perfectly aligned to the center. Then I'll come up to my trusty slide sorter and I'll add a couple of exclamation marks above the text boxes. I'll then select these and drag them to the bottom. I'll then copy that, come onto this slide, paste them in, and before I send them to the back, I just want to reduce their size a bit. So I'll just do that a few times, and I'll bring this down as well. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to drag these down to the bottom. Beautiful. The last thing to do is select all five slides, come up to Transitions, choose Morph, and change the duration to one second. Fantastic. Let's check it out. Now you know how to create these amazing animated step slides in PowerPoint. You'll see now that I can click on all of these parts and the interactivity is here for you. But there's actually something else I haven't spoken about, which will really help get your PowerPoint skills up where they need to be. So watch this video next, because it's a goodie.